Windows 11 25 H2 is honestly a mess. It barely changes anything and even breaks a few things along the way. But don't worry, in this video, I'll show you three tools that actually fix it. The first one completely transforms the interface. The second one restores the old right-click context menu. And the last one adds powerful utilities that make Windows 11 feel complete again. And if you're into customizing or improving Windows, make sure to subscribe and drop a like. It really helps. Plus, stick around until the end because I'll show you a bonus tweak that ties all these tools together for the ultimate setup. Let's fix this. Now to fix the issues with the Windows 11 25 H2 taskbar, start menu and also the notification center, we're gonna install this application, it's called WinHog and here it says that it's the customization marketplace for Windows and programs. So this is the program which you must install on your computer and you can do that by clicking here on this download button. Then here you will go to your file explorer, go here inside your downloads folder and here you will find WinHawk setup. Double left click it and install it like you would any other Windows program. Now, once you have it installed here, you will go to the start menu, search for the WinHawk and click here on the WinHawk app. And now to fix the Windows 11 start menu issue, we're gonna install this modification. It's called Windows 11 start menu styler. Just go here to the explore page and search for this specific modification. So Windows 11 start menu styler and then here click on details and then here on the left click on install. I already have it installed on my system. Now, once you also do have it installed, go here under the settings and this is where the actual magic happens. So this is the start menu on Windows 11 25 h2 and with this modification we can actually change it to something completely different now under the theme here i'm gonna select here this one down below it's called down arrow and here i'm also going to enable this option to disable the new start menu layout just like this and then here i'm gonna click on save settings and now if we take a look at the new start menu, this is how it looks like. I think it does look much better compared to before. And here we have pinned applications. Then we have here the user. Here we also have the power button, which looks absolutely amazing. And here, if I click on all, we can also see all of the applications which I have installed on my computer. But we are not done. We can also fix here the taskbar as well as the notification center. So let's go back here to the Windhawk. Let's go back here to the home page. And this is the next modification which you want to install to fix the taskbar on Windows 11 25 H2. And this is the one. So make sure that you install it like you did the Windows 11 start menu styler. And then here here, I'm gonna just click on enable. Let's go here to the details, go to the settings. And this is where we also need to change the theme. So here I'm gonna select this one down below. It's called Windows Glass. And then we can click here on save settings. And this is how my taskbar right now looks like. You can also see that it does not look that good. So to fix that, we will have to install another modification. And this one is called taskbar height and icon size. So make sure that you also install it. And then here you can go to the details make sure that you have it enabled right here let's go here to the advanced and this is where you will have to change a few things you will have to go here to this website right here on this github page i will also put a link for it in the video description down below by the way and here you will make sure to click on the themes scroll down down below until you find this theme window glass click on it and down below you will find this click to expand json content and here you will have to copy this commands right here and paste them inside this mod settings window. So just like this, click on save and now your taskbar should adjust its icon size as well as the height. Now we are pretty much done already with the start menu, also the taskbar. Now let's also fix the notification center with the new transparency theme. So let's go here to the explore page and search for the notification. This is the modification which we want to install. It's called Windows 11 notification center Styler. Here, I'm gonna just click on install and uh, let's just wait for a few seconds. Now, once you have this modification installed, let's go here to the settings and under the theme options, you will select translucent shell. And if I click here on save settings, this will make our notification center transparent and it looks much better compared to before. Now, we are pretty much done with the interface changes. Now, let's continue with the next option 
which is the old right-click context menu on Windows 11 25H2. And to achieve that, we will have to install this program. It's called Nilesoft Shell. Let's go here to the download option and uh, let's click here on the download setup. Here you will click on download setup x64 or if you have Snapdragon processor, you will download this one right here. Now remember, this is how the default Windows 11 right-click context menu looks like. And to install Nilesoft right-click context menu, you will go here to the setup program, double left click it and install like you would any other Windows program. So here, just click on next, next once again, and then install. And then you will just wait for a few seconds. And once you have it pretty much installed on your computer, this is how the right click context menu should look like. It should be a bit slimmer and it also should have a lot more options. For example, here you will see the terminal, file manage, go to new, and then if you, for example, click on the file and right click on it, you will also see here a ton more options here to pick from. For example, edit with photos, create with designer, ask copilot. Pretty much, I think this program is definitely worth installing if you want a bit more modern right click context menu on Windows 11 25 H2. And now for useful tools, this is the most useful tool which you can actually install on your Windows 11 computer. It's called Power Toys from Microsoft and it was quite recently actually also updated with another amazing tool, which I will talk in just in a minute. And down below here, you will find the installers. I highly recommend that you use the machine wide one. So here in this case, I'm gonna go with X64 and uh, to install it, you just run the installer and uh, install it like you would any other Windows program. And by the way, I'm also going to put a link for every single tool I mentioned in this video below in the video description. So you guys can easily follow this tutorial. Now, pretty much once you have it installed, you should see a screen which looks something like this. So this is how the Power Toy settings actually look like. If you want to open it, you can also go here to the start menu and just search for the Power Toys and click on the app once you have it installed, of course. And these are the three most useful tools I think Power Toys actually has. Now, the number one, is this one right here. It's called Command Palette. And uh, to actually activate it, you will have to click on Alt plus space on your keyboard. So in this case, in my case here, if I click on it, you will see here that it opens this uh, window to search for apps, files, maybe even websites. So in this case, let's search for the Zen browser, for example, and let's click on it. And this way you can pretty much search entire Windows system using this simple search window. And uh, yeah, I think it's super useful to have. Now, the next tool from the Microsoft Power Toys is this one right here down below. It's called Peak and it's very similar feature which macOS provides. So when you click on the space bar on your keyboard, it allows you to see the preview of the file. And here you can see that you also need to have this one enabled and the activation method here is space bar, but you can also change this to the custom shortcut. And now let me show you how this tool actually works. So here I have this really cool wallpaper which I found on the internet. And if I click space here, it will open here this preview and this is how the preview actually here looks like. And now if you want to open this image in the Photos app, for example, you can also click here on top, open with Windows System Launcher. And this is pretty much how it actually works. You guys can also get this amazing wallpaper on this website. I'm also going to put a link for it in the video description down below. And once you have it, you can just select it here and click on set as background. And that way your desktop will look a whole lot better in my personal opinion. By the way, guys, if you are enjoying this type of content, do me a favor, smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, let's go here to the third tool, which Power Toys also actually provides. So the third tool is here down below and it's actually quite new. It's called Light Switch. And what this one will do, a functionality to Windows, which will automatically switch between the light theme and also the dark theme, depending on the hour of the day. So for example, if I turn it on right here, it will switch my Windows to the light theme. If you want to also toggle the switch of the theme, you can also use this shortcut right here. However, for the schedule, currently this is set to manual. However, you can also change this to the sunset to sunrise and change the location. I think this feature is also very handy, but I still don't know why Windows doesn't have this already built in by default. 
And now to pretty much tie everything together for a bonus, I'm also going to show you how to customize the cursor on Windows 11 25 H2. And the cursors, which I highly recommend are from this website, from jabricreations.com. I highly recommend these cursors. Some of them are paid. However, if you scroll down, down below here, you will also find the free collection. And the cursor pack, which I highly recommend is this one right here. It's called Windows 11 Cursor Concept Free. You can just click on it here and click on download for free this pack. And then here you will get this zip file. Make sure that you select it here inside your downloads folder. Click on extract all. And then once again, click on extract. And then here you will see how to install text file. However, we can go straight here to the installation process. I will go with the light theme. And then here inside you will find this file It's called install. We can right click on it. And then here let's click on install option once again click on open and just wait for a few seconds until it installs. Now, if you get an error like I did right here, we can also install this cursor manually. So let's go here to the start menu, search for the cursor. And here you are going to find this option. It's called change the mouse pointer display or speed. Click on it. Let's go here to the pointers. And now here we are going to select every single pointer here for every single option right here. So for the normal select, we're going to click on browse. Let's go here to the home and let's go here inside the downloads folder. Let's go inside the light folder. And here I'm going to click on the arrow. Let's go here for the working in the background. Let's click on browse. I'm going to select here app starting, click on open. You can then click on apply. And this is how the cursor right now looks like. I think it's night and day compared to before. This one, in my opinion, looks much better. So you can also save it as click on here and click on Windows 11 new for example and click on OK and you can pretty much also select it here from the drop down. Now this is pretty much how you guys can make Windows 11 25 H2 much better in my opinion. Now if you enjoyed this video make sure that you smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, I will see you all around in the next video.